Hi there, welcome to Play Tennis Practice Yoga. My name is Margaret, and today we're going to be working on what I'm calling fence clock. It was originally wall clock, but we're adapting this to the tennis court, of course, that can easily be practiced on the tennis fence after tennis, maybe even after practicing your serve. As tennis players, we tend to get a little tight along the front of the chest from having our arms out in front of us by default, and all of that pushing out against the force of the tennis ball in our tennis strokes. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a like, comment, let me know how this felt in your body, and subscribe to our channel, Play Tennis Practice Yoga, for videos released every Tuesday. So let me go ahead and show you how this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and get near my tennis fence. Again, at home, you could do this against a wall. And I'm going to stand so that I'm more or less about eight inches away from my fence. And you could always come closer to the fence to make this a little less challenging if it feels a little intense. So I'm gonna take my right arm up the fence and as if I'm starting at 12 o'clock, I'm just gonna start off by reaching upward. At the same time, I'm reaching downward with the opposite arm. And I'm going to take a couple of breaths just to notice how this feels. So when we practice these non-traditional yoga postures if we practice them with mindfulness we can call it yoga breath is a great way to become more mindful in these practices and then i'm going to go ahead and move my arm back after a couple breaths as if i'm working towards one o'clock so you'll start to feel a little more of an opening through your right side again notice how this feels what's changed i'm breathing into where i feel it and so you wouldn't move on if it was already quite intense, but if you want to challenge further, then you would go ahead and move that arm back to about two o'clock. I always take a peek back so that I know exactly where I am in space. And then the furthest you would wanna take this is to three o'clock. So I'm gonna go there now, again, breathing. And then after I've been here for a couple of breaths, just to enhance this a little bit more, I can lean slightly forward with my chest and feel as if I'm turning my breastbone away from my fence or wall. So I'm gonna take a last couple of breaths right here. And then I'm gonna slowly come out of it. What's kind of cool is that when you come out of the pose and you allow your arms to hang, it can often feel like the one side that you've worked with is a little longer than the other. So I'm not gonna show you second side, but I definitely want you to do this on both sides. We don't wanna neglect that opposite side and you'll go through the paces in the same exact manner. So please let me know how this felt. Our fence clock, again, great for after practice, those longer holds, maybe even after your serve or just you're practicing in general. Let me know how your practice goes and subscribe to our channel, Play Tennis, Practice Yoga for Yoga for Tennis Tuesdays. See you soon and happy practicing in the meantime.